And I won't hold you to this, but just a guess if when the Tesla network will actually launch and I can request a ride and Tesla will generate revenue. Do you have a guess? Yeah. You can be wrong. but Yeah. Uh, we're assuming it's 2021. Um, okay. But even I think, here's what I think. Even if it's 2022 and it's a year later, or even if it's two years later, I think that Tesla could still be the first company to do it. Um, and, yeah. and that actually matters because because once you launch um, the utilization rate on those vehicles is, is high because they're running as taxis. And then I'm just getting more data and then I'm running away from the competition even further at a faster pace because my system is improving um, on all those little corner edge cases. Uh, so we, th we think this is like a first mover advantage market uh, with with natural geographic monopolies. Right. And I just want to build on that because I've been kind of been playing devil's advocate. But this is in the back of my mind where I'm like, OK, this is the game changer. If Tesla is actually as far ahead as we think and we're right and this they are the first mover. Imagine being the only OEM that's allowed to be fully self-driving like you. And we're talking about the cost of this car is let's say it's 25 cents versus 250 per mile for Uber Lyft one tenth the cost so they can charge half the price and make 80 percent margins or you know 50 percent margins or whatever like I, I just don't think people under and then they're getting better faster because they're the first to market like this is right. a huge monopoly um so i just don't think people understand that the first mover with this technology will have potentially a couple years advantage of like a, a basically white space opportunity Ex exactly and, and it's going to be hard to to catch up to them if you're just running test fleets i mean i think like Tesla will have a real competitor when an automaker actually installs hardware in the, the their customer cars to collect something. And that still hasn't happened. I mean, wow, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. And who, who would you say is the closest, either OEM or startup, to developing technology like this? Is there anyone on your radar that, you know, is it comma.ai, Pronto? I've heard of some of these startups. You mentioned Cruise is sort of impressive. Yeah, um, yeah we, we look at a lot of startups that are interesting. Um, it's... It, Again, we think Tesla really has a massive lead. Well, one other um, interesting market that I'll point out is uh, is China. Um, right now, uh, Baidu, although their technology seems to be nowhere near Tesla, they're designated as the national autonomous driving platform. Mm. Um, so uh, I think the, the government, especially in China, I mean, the government just like if they, if they if they if they make some if they say something so they sort of make it so, um, so I think that could be a really interesting dynamic. Um, so so maybe you know they're they're in a good position there again even even if they're sort of not technologically um, as advanced uh, in the U.S. I mean we were looking at Waymo for a long time and like. We'd always thought, okay, well, they, they have the best technology. Maybe they don't have the scale, um, but they still could be first to launch. But they just keep on, like, tripping over themselves. And, like, they say they're going to launch commercially, and then it's, like, not really commercial. Right? It's not available to everyone. So 